Well, it's supposed to be really hot this afternoon, but it's nice and cool now. So the whole idea on these type of days is get out on the road as soon as possible and get back as soon as possible. And we will do that today. And every ride we've been on so far with this bike has just been, just been flawless. We have just really, really enjoyed this. Karen, this is the best, bir the best birthday present you could have ever gotten me. And sooner or later, I have to start riding the other bikes, but for right now, it's, it's uncanny how this thing has taken over my life. Hey, don't bite me! You think this is an audition for Jaws? Come on, baby. Hey! Come on, come on, you can do it. Get the bike pre-flighted and let's go! Time to go! The famous saying, a farmer's work is never done. A gardener's work is never done. Look at some of this morning's harvest. This is a, the brightest of the bright zinnias getting harvested for the kitchen table here. Wow. That is that is a Nanda Navola moment. Look at that. And another basket of tomato zillas here. Some big ones, some small ones. Every morning. Now with the harvest done, it's time to get out on the open road. Oh, it was a heavenly morning. Day at Canister Road. The entrance to beautiful Canister Road right off Route 23 in Jefferson. And this is a road you can go back and forth on between Vernon and Route 23. It's nothing but beautiful twisted roads. One nice turn after another, very low traffic. And you wind up in Vernon, you just turn around and go back. And I've done this many times, going so back and forth, back and forth for the whole day. Going back down 23 and going home, but not today. Today we're going to end this ride. We're going to go up by 7, 517. But Canister Road is just a dive. If you've never ridden Canister Road, that is what you want to it's shady, it's cool. <laughs> Actually, it's not really even bumpy, it's, it's medium. You've got the bike set up so And most of it is in the shade, so it's a cool ride on a hot day. And there's a lot of straightaways if you want to go through the gears or uh, whatever. And a lot of nice variable turns. It's just one of the nicest roads ever. Canister Road. In case you can't find it, there's a big sign as you go north on 23. And one nice sweeping turn after another. It just never gets boring. And as you get into Vernon, there's some nice lakes, some nice scenery. The Canister Road is, is the ticket. And again, the lakes just north of Canister Road. It's a great place to wear some tires out. Or shoot a couple of pictures of your bike. This is now we're headed up toward 517. I think this actually is 517. Absolutely beautiful day. Sun shining. Bike running like a Rolex watch.
It's fun having antique bikes, but fun having new bikes too. When it's cold, I'll be looking at these sunny days in envy. And this will be a day I remember. Just beautiful. Just about the right temperature, right up to the last hour of the ride. And, it got hot. and beautiful scenery, farm country. Actually, we wound up the day in the onion fields. And here we are at the onion fields. Wow. Beautiful. Dances with wolves backgrounds. Look at this. Oh my god, the scenery is just awesome. Some nice antique barns along the way. And I wonder how people that live in a part of the world where it's flat, you don't ever get this. Look at the elevation changes and the changing trees and the changing leaves. And every time I go out on a bike, it's different than the time before. And it's always an adventure. There's so many and there's roads I haven't even gone down yet. One, one pleasant background after another. I don't know how you can make this up, but this was just a wonderful day. Actually, on the way home, it did get a little cloudy. By the time I got home, nothing, nothing was spoiled. A flawless day. And I think we got a little over 150 miles today because we did the canister road thing backwards. What I like to do is do a loop in one direction and about halfway through turn around and do it backwards. And the only time we stop is to buy gas. And take pictures. Now a lot of people enjoy more socializing. I enjoy more riding. And to be honest, after four hours in the saddle, I'm ready to head home. But even the ride home today turned out to be pretty cool. But all of these loops, they take two hours, three hours, and if you take the long way and flip them backwards, it's four hours plus. And you almost always have to stop and buy gas, so that gives you a little break, too. And all of these roads are within 100 miles of my house. And I know I'm really lucky to have a bottomless pit of days to do this. Back, at, back where the adventure started. Oh, it was a wonderful day today. I had some extra footage today. place I've stopped before, Blue Arrow. I have a cool like an Indian place right on 517. I wonder what it really is. I've never gone in there. And you can go back and forth on 517. Any amount of time it never gets bored. There's almost never any real traffic on the
horses. But as I said, the day just ground in beautifully. Just couldn't have been nicer. And this bike really is a joy to ride. After four hours in the seat, then you know if a seat is going to be comfortable. Not in a dealer's showroom. You got to get out on a day like today and really put it to the test. Here we are going backwards and the backward trip through the loop. And I just think that the seat on this bike is exceptional. I don't know how they did it because it's not a big looking seat. But after a long day in the saddle, it really, really is nice. I wanted to get that building in there too. Anyway, this is just some of the outtakes from today's new trip. And like every day, you, you look at your watch and at some point in time, it's time to head to Queen Mary back home. You just never get sick of these roads. It's 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 impossible to get sick of them. One nice sweeping turn after another. Low traffic, very low law enforcement, and Valentine to save you. Of course, on a ride home here, I'm trying to catch up with this Ferrari to get some pictures. I'm not sure if he thinks I want to race him. He eventually pulled over. He knew I had the superior horsepower. Checked out his car to car. That, that's a beautiful Ferrari. With a little roof. Well, no roof. Maybe they come without a roof. I don't know. Look at this. The bride is out. I can't believe it. This was a beautiful ride. Really long day, though. Fooling around with that Ferrari. I hope I got some of that on video. We were playing tag on, uh, on the way home. Pretty cool. Nice Ferrari, by the way. Anyway, I want to thank the healthcare workers. Can't thank you enough, guys. Keeping us as healthy as possible, my whole family. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoy making them. And thanks for watching. Tomorrow, we'll post more video.